our recording. Hi and good day to you. Welcome, I'm Teresa and this is Love Authentic Me. And today's guest I have, if I'm pronouncing this right, wrong, correct me, <laughs> is it Helen Pickett? Pickett? Pinkett. Pinkett. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll let yeah. Helen um, tell her, you, her, I'm about tongue tied this morning. I'll let Helen tell you what she does. So, if you'd like to tell the people what it is you do, then. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm a bit of a, I'm a, bit of a serial entrepreneur. I'm what's known as a multi potentialite. <laughs> some people may be aware of that term. <laughs> well, someone, I didn't actually know what it meant until about a year or two ago when I was at my networking group and someone said, Oh, you're a multi potentialite. It's basically somebody who's got lots of different passions, um, you know, lots of different interests, follows them up with a deep kind of, um, you know, like I, I turn everything to, into a business. <laughs> Everything I, love, I kind of go, oh yeah, I'm going to turn this into into something because if I love it, then I love being able to share with other people. Yeah. So I do run a couple of businesses. Um, I've been self-employed for four years. Um, Monday was actually my fourth birthday because I um, left my full-time job. So my background was in hospitality. Yeah. So I left um I left full-time employment um, my first business was a wedding business and I say it was it still is I still run a wedding business wedding planning and venue styling so that's that's all good but predominantly now I do um I run health and well-being events um fairs really um inspirational events that bring together um well-being and spiritual practitioners to connect with like-minded others so it's a great space for networking, um, also meeting potential new clients, um, just bringing people together in a really kind of relaxed space where they can have taster sessions of treatments and therapies. Um, we have readings and we have shopping as well. So you can get all your natural, um, yeah, lovely kind of products, Norwex and yeah, Tropic and you know all the lovely like, natural yeah, like products like so it's a great space to bring all of that together and plus we have talks and workshops going on um, within the event so um, as we were saying that I can do this event you left feeling really um, positive and inspired so yeah. my aim is to really up level my events and give people that feeling as well yeah. both business owners and our visitors I want them to come away having had a really awesome experience so um so I do that um I also run a community called inspired souls which is all about spiritual well-being I also do tarot and angel cards and numerology readings as well so yeah. I've got a few um a few little bows to my arrow and through all my experience I all do also offer one-to-one -one sessions to help um business owners not just business owners um but people who are just feeling overwhelmed a bit stuck and just need some kind of um some help just getting moving again getting some clarity and direction and I'm quite good at kind of spotting opportunities and creating ideas so um so I so I've got a few a few things that I do but I'm really passionate about everything um everything that I do so um yeah well, okay well this is the one that everyone's not sure about but it I've describe yourself in three words and why those words ah you... okay um I'm well I'm a connector yeah. so um I love creating connections I love bringing people together um I'm a communicator yeah. I love sharing as you probably guess I love talking and sharing um <laughs> <Me too. laughs> and oh what else yeah this yeah that's a tricky one um passion that comes to mind yeah yeah that's a good yes thank you <laughs> yeah, very passionate I'm very enthusiastic positive yeah. Positive. positive enthusiastic there you go more than three for you yeah, that's <laughs> and that, that leads, that. leading to what i would say what are you passionate about i think we kind of that that's come across what, what is your passions oh i'm really passionate about um i'm really passionate about well-being health and well-being having had um stressful periods in my life i'm you know I'm dedicated to living a life now as stress free um, you know I love all the healing modalities um, and I love helping others do the same as well so yeah passionate about well-being just enjoying life I yeah. think <laughs> that's cool 
<laughs> and this one I love. This come about because of Misty Tipperton. It was on one of the workshops I did with her, and it made me think because I was like, I'm not sure. Um, but what are your what would your friends and family say is your greatest gift? Um, and I love to say this because I always look at what the positive aspects of other people are, but then listing and some people find it hard to do that. And to, so I think it's good to inspire people what we, and to know what others feel or what they compliment you on. Oh, we've frozen. There we are. You're back. It froze. Yeah. Me. So <laughs> I was talking, <laughs> no, sorry, you broke up a bit there. Um, I, I did actually talk to my partner about that the other day and he was saying, yeah, you're just very inspiring with your positivity because yeah. I do like to um I just love to share positivity all the time and I like to look on the bright side yeah. um and I like to think that I just bring a little bit of inspiration to other people's lives to to um to do their best yeah. and to do and to go for things that they want to and that um you know we can achieve anything we want in this life if we just go for it so hopefully yeah positive inspirer <laughs> And it's great. People like being around that as well because they're drawn to that. So I think it's a good thing. I was this again. What led you to do what you're doing? I know you talked a little bit about doing weddings. And obviously, I'm getting married next year, so I love all the weddings. Okay. Stuff, but how oh. did you get from weddings to doing the? Um, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're breaking up a little bit. I think we. Yeah. Oh, you're breaking up. <laughs> Can you hear me? Okay. Let me just. Sorry, you kind of broken up a bit. I was going to guess the answer then. To the <laughs> yes, what, so, what led you to do what you're doing? So I, because my my background. So my background um, in the hospitality industry was events management um, and wedding planning. So because of my love for health and well-being, I just married that up with my events experience, and that's where the the Be Well events. Um, came from and um, yeah I guess I just I just find what I enjoy and do that a bit more <laughs> yeah well it's good I think we should all follow our bliss as they say um, to get to where you are at the moment what has been your biggest challenge and how did you overcome that can you hear me all right oh I'm not sure what my biggest challenge is yes yeah I know. yeah my biggest challenge well I think it's just um yeah that's really tricky actually because I don't I kind of I take all the challenges as learnings really um so I haven't had a biggest challenge but I think it's just kind of keep to keep going with it sometimes because there are ups and downs there are busier periods there are quieter periods and it's just having faith and keeping going with it so that can be a bit of a challenge because you know I'm not going to lie there has been times when I've thought do you know what I'm just gonna go and get a job but I'm not I'm gonna you know I'm gonna keep going with it so I would say it's it's just having that that self-belief can sometimes be a bit of a challenge believing in yourself and and knowing that it's gonna be okay but you've having got to just faith, tweak your mind yeah. and keep going with that yeah. yeah um to get to where you are at the moment what has been your biggest channel we've just said oh who who and what is your biggest influence this I always love. Oh my gosh. Wow. No. That, okay, that's impossible to narrow down to one person. There's, there's yeah. a lot of people that I follow um, yeah. in social media. Obviously, there's Kyle Gray, who um, I've been doing my mentoring with, uh, people like Gabby Bernstein yeah. um, and Rebecca Campbell. So there, there really is a lot of, um, quite a few people that I follow, I have to say. But, you know, it's not just, people who are influencers there's yeah. people that I come into contact with all the time at my events and everybody is so inspirational because they're doing things in their own way so yeah. I can't say one person I'm sorry no, that's fine that's <laughs> but, um, I, you know, I think we made a note of Rebecca Campbell because that's not one I've heard of so I'll have to go check her out oh yeah she's yeah. fab I really like her yeah and Denise Duffield Thomas as well she's really cool um, Promise. I think yeah she's great she's all about money mindset yeah. so we love her <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, I think we all need to know a little bit about that <laughs> <laughs> okay what's the first thing you do when you wake up and it's interesting what different um wellness Wednesdays interviewees have been saying most people it's the same thing it's 
mindset, which I find it interesting. Okay. In all honesty, the very first thing that I do when I wake up is check my phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably me too. <laughs> In all honesty, yeah. I, um, I, I go on to social media. Yeah. Okay, before I've even got out of bed, I'm checking my phone. Yeah. So that's that's the honest answer. But yeah. then what I do after that is I plug in my earphones and I listen to a guided meditation. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably okay. about the same with me too. Um, phone yeah. goes off, it's there. I'm trying not to. I'm try we're trying to have detox days or tech, <laughs> tech, tech detox days with the kids. And um, yeah, <laughs> it's, a bit it's of hard, thing. isn't it? It's, it's hard, hard when it's, it's there. Hard you think, yeah. Yeah, really hard. So yes, that's I, that's my that is um not very wellness. But, uh. but if you're, if you're, you're meditating, as if it, and I think that's one of the things. If you, as the earlier that you can do it and get yourself in alignment, I think is um oh, do you know it sets me up for the day. That's it. I listen to um, a guided meditation and then I come downstairs. I do start work, but I listen to positive affirmations for about an hour just in my earphones over and over so um yeah I do I do have a great setup for the morning that's brilliant I think a lot of people okay hello hello <laughs> and we're back sorry about that guys we, we've had a little bit of Hi. <laughs> I can cut that in I'm sure we can cut that together um I don't know what, what the last <laughs> thing you heard from me but we were saying about what you did when you woke, woke up in the phone the last thing I was asking um, if you if you're having a bad day, what do you do to get yourself back in alignment or back into a happier feeling place? Is there something that you do to um, get yourself feeling? I might have a little friend. Here. This boy is one of mine. <laughs> you definitely get yes, back. yeah. So I I do some sort of exercise. I get out for a walk. I go for a run. I do a, I do a yoga. Oh, there's a cat. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I do some yoga. I just get my body moving. Yeah, that really helps. Um, I do try and listen to a guided meditation. Something um, what else? And just not great. I just I watch something on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> to be honest, I just kind of put it all aside because we tend to we, we tend to, when we go into a place that's not so great, we overthink it, don't we? Yeah. And I yeah. I do that all the time. So actually, just switching off and stepping away, yeah, really helps. Good advice. But otherwise, good. getting moving, having some water, a bit of a guided yeah. meditation, yeah. And, and that tends to to shift. What are the five things you do in life for your wellness? Obviously, you've said about meditation and movement. Yes, yes. So what? So the five things. I yeah. I love my exercise. I love my guided meditation. Um, I make sure I have fun as well. You know, having a good laugh yes. is so important to your health and well-being. Trying to get some good sleep. I go to bed really early. Yeah. Um, I'm in bed by nine every night. Well, I do watch a bit of telly, but bed by nine up early I found that getting up early and having a great morning routine has really um Helps with the night really changed things well. for me yeah I think really me, um that's one of the things I struggle with going to bed early I'm a late late bird um, um but when yeah. I do get up early it's completely different um different yeah feeling yeah <laughs> I've got a little friend here that's insisting he wants to be part of the video. <laughs> Sorry, they are one of my. Um, they will get me out of my. Um, if I, I notice, they tend to come and sit with me, or they'll uh, demand attention, and um, just it's quite therapeutic. Just a <laughs> little cat on the lap. Little male here. Little uh -oh. um, little my little guardian angel here is. Um, and then I've got what to. Oh, we've come to an end. What what have you got coming up at the moment? Is there anything that we can? That how people can get hold of you is the other one as well and links if people want to contact you how can people get hold of you and what have you got coming up yeah oh well i would absolutely love people to join my community uh, the inspired souls which is a facebook group so absolutely <laughs> yes yeah that's where we how we met isn't it yeah. um, so i would absolutely love to grow that community um within there i offer my readings so um my tarot, my angel readings, my numerology readings. I've just launched um, 
it was completely by accident last night, little gift sets that I'm going to sell, which would sell crystals and oils. Mm. Um, so yeah, perfect for Christmas, yeah. little, little support, soulful support sets. Um, so uh, yeah, so I kind of posted there about a lot of what that I do, and my events are in Wiltshire. Yeah. So if anybody's watching that's in that area, then yeah. Yeah. To, um, he doesn't want to go to connect and if anybody wants to connect with me on Facebook at all Helen Pinkett just send me a friend request or check out my business pages you know I, I absolutely love connecting with new people um, finding out what everyone's up to and, and learning it's it's really what I'm about so um, yeah, really? feel good to get in touch well thank you Helen it's been lovely speaking to you and um, we've actually got six, uh, uh, got a connection now <laughs> it's, that's, that's crazy, yeah. isn't it? but um so thank you and love and light to you and to thank our you. viewers and um we will leave it at that so again thank, thank you. you for joining me